it was it was a Tuesday. Uh, I know that because it was a track day. Uh, every Tuesday, <clears throat> uh, this was uh, in 2009. I had just made sockeye. I was a rookie. I was incredibly nervous all the time, but also really excited. So I like did everything. Um, and track days were always like just the most grueling days because a the workouts were just brutal. B I didn't want to be the slow guy. Uh, C I'm tiny, so I didn't want to like be pathetic, and I wanted people to think I made the team because I don't like I should have made it. Um, and C, you know the workout beforehand, so all day you get to think about it. So I had this massive track anxiety, and I remember it very distinctly. It was August 25th in 2009. Um, but I'm driving, I'm driving to track, and you know, I'm playing my pump-up music, so I get in the right zone so I can compete and I can do all the stuff, and I'm excited. And <clears throat> I pull into the parking lot of Roosevelt High School, and my mom calls. And my mom, she, you know, she calls sometimes at random times, intervals, and she'll say, like, hey, did you get the taco I sent you? Or um, <laughs> do you, like, did you get the, e she'll say, did you get the email? I'm like, it, you sent it? Yes, I got the email. <laughs> she's like, well, you don't always check it. I'm like, well, you know, you, you and dad both have the same account on AOL. And like, why do you even have AOL anymore? It's, it's 2009. Um, I even know people had that. Uh, or Prodigy or something. But. So my mom calls, and um, I pull in, and I'm like, oh, well, and I always answer, so, so I answered. Um, and about a minute and a half later, I, I knew my mom had been diagnosed with breast cancer. And I didn't know what to do with it. 